Hi, I'm Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net, and this is a continued series that I'm going to be having for you guys to help you understand us and to understand what's up with how a woman reacts and those times that you fear that she's totally lost her mind and gone nuts. I want to explain some basics about how we think, why we think the way we do, so that if you find yourself in the middle of an emotional reactive explosion, you're not discounting that woman in front of you by falsely labeling her as being crazy. Let me explain when the explosion occurs in a healthy woman, normally here's why. You know, in today's world, a lot of you guys are sleeping with women and they're sleeping with you. And the women may not have prefaced what they really want from you. It's kind of like dogs at the park. You're, all, you're still sniffing each other. You're seeing other people. She tells you she's seeing other people. She is or she isn't. Nobody's really sure what they want. This is one of the problems that happens when people aren't clear up front with what they're looking for. So let's say you started that way. You kind of hooked up with this girl and things are going well and she's really cool and you get along well. Then the day comes when she has this massive eruption and you're like, wow, this chick is crazy. If she's healthy, here's what happened. Behind the scenes, what you don't know is she's getting close to her own time period where she's getting a little antsy. She's been nice. She's been, you know, open with her sexuality. You're hooking up. But she wants to know where she stands because this is a really rough terrain for us. You have to understand with females, it's a package deal. You can't just take this, throw it in the bed, and extract this. The heart is attached. So when you think it's easy breezy, it really isn't for us. And we try desperately to manage these emotions. And we try desperately to not be reactive. And we try desperately to not show you any signs of how much we want you and how uncertain we are as to our position. So something silly happens and she has a massive blow up. And you hear things coming out of her mouth you have never heard before. This is actually what happens when the balloon expands and expands and expands with issues and concerns and fears. It is, it's popped. And all this stuff that she didn't dare feel comfortable saying because she wasn't sure how you felt about it has now just exploded. You see, especially with younger women, there's a tendency to hold it back and repress it and repress it and repress it. We think that's being nice. We think that's being cool. What's actually happening is you're never getting a taste of what we're feeling because we're so afraid to tell you that that thing that seems insignificant happens. Something completely unrelated and we blow. Please understand, this may have been the first time she ever told you how she felt. And she was not in a state of mind to tell you rationally and concretely with sentences that you understand and words and analogies that make sense to you. Please don't dismiss a gal for this one moment in time. What's required on your end is to calm her down, reassure her. I find that, you know, touching people, looking them in the eye kind of grounds them and say, honey, what's up? What's up with you? Tell me what you're feeling. This will be the first time you hear an emotional dialogue come out of this woman. Whether you know it or not, there's no casual relationship for women. We try, we're not very good at it. We have feelings, we'd love to suppress them. Not possible. If you've just encountered a girl that was really cool, that blew up, this is why. She likes you, she's scared, and just like everybody else, she doesn't want to be hurt for no reason at all. Have the courage to talk it through, have the courage to calm her down, and have the courage to sit and listen to it. And you may find on the other end the coolest chick you've ever met, because now she can relax. And no matter what decision the two of you come to, she's had a chance to tell you how she feels. If you want to get along with women, you need to understand their mind. I have a lot of videos I'll be releasing and I will help you do so.
Thanks a lot, Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net.